Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. All right, right now I want to go over some Black Friday deals. Um, there are some really good deals right now uh, through both Google and Samsung. So here I am on Google.com. I'm going to go ahead and uh, look at uh, the Pixel devices first and see what they got going on. And um, and so far we're going to go down to the Google Store, see Black Friday deals, and. Um, I'm going to let you guys know if it's worth upgrading or not. So, all right, here we got regular Pixel 9. Now, they're already discounting it at to 649 Now, for example, if I want to buy this, I'm going to show you guys right now. Right here are the colors. So, you got the winter green, the porcelain, the obsidian. I like the obsidian color. Look at that. That looks really, really nice. All right, so let's say, for example, I'm gonna get the Obsidian. All right, let's just go ahead with the base, 128 gigabytes. We're gonna do unlocked, of course. I don't know why anybody would get anything other than unlocked <laughs> if you're buying it through the Google Store. And then there's a trade-in option here. So we're gonna go ahead and see the trade-ins. And let's, for example, I'm gonna trade in my Pixel 7 Pro. And uh, let's go ahead and see what they'll give me for it. So they're gonna give me $540 for my Pixel 7 Pro. Now I see it going for on Amazon for around $300. So this is way above the retail price right now on a renewed device. So 540 is an excellent deal. Let's go ahead and add this trade in. All right, I'm gonna skip that. Skip the coverage. I always say skip all that nonsense. Add to cart. And um, let's see what the cart says. So anyways, after I return my trade-in, the total price on that's gonna be $109. And this is for the base Pixel 9. So basically I'm getting pretty much almost a free phone. Um, that's if I go with the base. Now, if I wanted to go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and remove this, continue shopping. Now let's say if I wanted to go with the Pixel 9 Pro, or regular Pixel 9. I wouldn't go with the Pixel 9 Pro XL, so I would go with the Pixel 9 Pro. So let's go ahead and do that. Now the Pixel 9 Pro, what color? I like the hazel. All right, let's go ahead and do it again. Estimate, trade in, and same deal. We're gonna go ahead with the, my Pixel 7 Pro. Now, you guys know I did not upgrade to the Pixel 8 last year because I didn't feel a reason to. And again, the same deal here. So we're going to add that to the trade-in. And let's see, I'm going to go to buy. And we'll go back to the cart up here. Oops, I don't know what happened here. All right, so I think i got to do it again. So Pixel 9 Pro, go back to the Hazel 128. It says out of stock. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Uh, and skip. So get notified when the Pixel 9 Pro is available. So now we're going to have to change this color. So let's just go ahead and just do porcelain. So if you guys are trying to get the uh, hazel, it's out of stock. So let's go with the porcelain and uh, see how that works. All right, so we got that going on here. And it looks like this one's probably out of stock too. And uh, let's see here, cannot add that one either. So let's just go to the Obsidian 128, unlocked. And it looks like the Obsidian works. I'm gonna add that to the cart. <clears throat> see, they're selling out fast, guys, you see that? All right, so now, after I pay off my device so the thing is with google you have to buy it outright <clears throat> pay the retail so it cost me about 936 after i trade in my phone they send me a kit and my total after trade is 396.02 so about 400 dollars. in this case i would definitely recommend probably going with the uh, base uh, pixel 9 if you want to save money that's a big savings that's almost 300 savings and the only thing you're getting really different on the Pixel 9 Pro 
versus the Pixel 9 is you're getting the telephoto camera and I think you're getting 16 gigabytes of RAM instead of 12. But anyway, still a very good deal. Now let's go to Samsung and see what they got going on. All right, so Samsung, for example, they have up to $1,000 off the Flip 6. I'm actually using my Flip 5, so I would be definitely trading this phone back. So every year I've been trading back my uh, my, my Flip series. I traded in the 3 for the 4, the 4 for the 5, and they've been giving really, really good deals. So let's go ahead and... Let me turn this off on the Wi-Fi off. I think my Wi-Fi is a little slow here, so let's clear all that out. There's a lot of stuff in there. All right, so now we're connection. Now let's do it again. All right, sometimes it's taking a while. All right, so here we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to... Okay, Z Flip 6. All right, and unlocked. So you have two options. You have the 256 or the 512 gigabytes. The difference is very small in price, so I would definitely go with the 512. So you're looking at 989 for the six for the 256 or 1007. It's about a twenty dollar difference. <laughs> definitely go with the 512 gigabytes. And now here you have different um, options for colors. So if you get this one down here, you'll save the most. So we're going to go with the one that saves us the most money because we're all about saving money, right? So we're going to go ahead and trade in my z flip five i've already got this stuff set up so yes i agree and um so after i trade in my z flip six five for the flip z flip six my total price on that is 332.99 so about 333 dollars now i don't believe tax is included with samsung you're gonna have to well just the same thing with google you're gonna pay tax so in california and america you're gonna u.s you're gonna pay tax it depends on your state here it's about 10%. So the tax is not based on the discounted price. The tax is based on the MSRP, which in this case would be, I believe, $999 or whatever it is, or $1,000. So you'd be paying about $100 in tax. So you'd have to add about $100 to whatever uh, the price is. So anyways, they might actually charge you the tax on $1,219, which kind of sucks. So but you are getting $750 back on the on this phone. And to be honest with you, you can't sell it for $750. So with all that said, man, I think uh, if you guys want a flip phone, um, this would probably be a very, very good time to buy one if you have a flip five or you can trade in something else too, but you won't get the top of the line price like you do uh, if you trade in a flip you know, five or a flip six. But uh, you know, these are the great deals. So you know, I hope this helps, guys. If you guys like this channel, don't forget to subscribe down below. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon for notifications. And until next time, see you soon and stay blessed.